Every, every now and then, I bump into someone who says that uh, they're bad at maths, or that uh, they even hate it. And you know, hearing this constantly has made me think a lot. And I realized that uh, I would help a lot of people if I managed to show them how to look at maths the same way I do. I'm sure that uh, doing so for the first time would be a great revolution to them. Mm. Moreover, I found out that many scientists have discovered that even apes are able to understand some basic maths concepts. And well, I'm sure that no one here would like this guy to be cleverer than you. Well, to tell the truth, I have to admit that sometimes when I fool around with my friends on Saturday nights, maybe I don't feel much brighter than him. But that's not the point. Anyway, uh, before starting to explain what uh, I meant at the beginning, I wanted to reassure you that uh, even though I'm going to talk about maths, this is not going to be a lecture. So don't worry, we won't be using textbooks, we won't do a test at the end of the talk, and you won't need to solve any problems. Mm. At this point, you're probably asking yourself, uh, what could be left then? Well, ironically, the answer is another question, a question I want to ask you all. Is math a language? During the next couple of minutes, I'm going to try to make you reflect on this topic by showing you some proofs and evidence that could lead to a positive answer, so that, hopefully, by the end of the talk, you will have changed your perception of maths. You know, the, the first time this question came to my mind, I was just uh, looking uh, for help on my maths homework. And, uh, you know, I'm a teenager. And what does a teenager do when struggling with maths? Yes, you are absolutely right. He switches on his computer and he starts seeking help online. After a few minutes of uh, searching, I finally found the solution to my problem. Um, but that's not what I want to tell you about. The solution was on a website, which was uh, this type of uh, forum where every user with a subscription could show a little quotation or motto near his name. And I saw one that really struck me. Mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe by Galileo Galilei. I immediately felt uh, it was true, but uh, I was curious uh, about uh, finding out uh, if maths was actually a language. So, to answer this question, we first have to recall uh, the definition of a language. Unfortunately, just looking at a dictionary isn't enough, since uh, there are uh, way too many definitions but uh, I went through them all, which allowed me to conclude that uh, there must be some fundamental components. Vocabulary, meaning, grammar, and syntax. I'm sure that uh, these words are familiar to all of you, and I'd like to look at them one by one to see if uh, these categories apply to maths as they apply to other natural languages. So, the vocabulary is the set of all the words or symbols used by the language. This is probably the easiest point to prove. Just think about numbers and how they are the fundamentals of the vocabulary of math. You can write every number with just using the first 10, from 0 to 9. Just like you can form every word in English with only using its 26 letters alphabet. Turning now to the meaning, I can safely say that uh, every symbol in maths has one. I don't think that uh, a lot of you will be able to disagree with me. But if that's the case, it's probably just because uh, at some point in your life uh, you encountered a mathematical expression and you realized that you didn't even know where to start. Maybe it's just because no one told you how to read it. Let's try going back, going back to some years ago, in elementary school, when you were confronted 
with um, the fraction line for the first time. Maybe at the beginning uh, it looked hard, but uh, as soon as the meaning of the symbol was explained to you, you realized that you had no problem understanding it. Same thing happens with much harder expressions. Let's use this one, for example. It says, for every real number x, there exists one and only one natural number n, such that if you divide x by n, you still get x. And if you multiply x n times, you still end up with your original number x. I know that uh, it might seem crazy, but actually it isn't. Basically, it's just uh, the definition of the number one. You can prove that this statement is true by yourself uh, using uh, some examples. Let's pick, for instance, uh, x being equal to five. You easily see that five divided by one is the same as five multiplied by one, which is five. Let's now move uh, on to grammar and syntax. Even though the role of some symbols depends on the context, the fundamental structure of the mathematical proposition is the same all over the world. No matter what language you speak or where you are from, there are some rules you need to follow in order to be able to speak maths. We can talk about this using the easiest example ever, the order of operations. If you attend a school in an English-speaking country, they will introduce you this concept by using the word PANDAS. By using the word PANDAS. It is an acronym and helps students remember that parentheses goes first, then you have to do exponents, then you solve multiplications and divisions from left to right if there's more than one, and finally, uh, and finally, additions and uh, subtractions, uh, still from left to right, uh, if uh, there's more than one. But uh, if uh, it is uh, so obvious that uh, math has all the properties that uh, other natural languages uh, has, ha have, why isn't it taught uh, like others are? Why don't they introduce us to maths as a language at an early age? Well, mm, the reason can't be that uh, it is not important enough, because uh, maths is everywhere. Without it, you wouldn't be able to watch this presentation, and you wouldn't be able to hear me talking. Well, okay, I have to admit that maybe this could even be a good thing for some of you, but that's not the point. Anyway, you even wouldn't be able to watch football games on your TV, sitting on your couch at home. And most importantly, that girl on the right wouldn't be able to play on her phone while I'm talking. Okay, no, I'm joking, there's no girl playing on her phone. I hope. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, the aim of uh, this whole speech uh, wasn't uh, to immediately help you get good grades uh, on maths. But a good start uh, would be to, to realize uh, that uh, you should change the way you think about maths. Like uh, with uh, a language, uh, it takes time to be proficient at it, but uh, the more you practice, the better. And I hope that uh, one day, confronted with a new math problem, you will have a fresh look at it for the first time. Thank you. Thank you.